welcome back to my channel it's your girl mandy how are you today i hope you're fine i want to say a big thank you to all my returning subscribers those of you who keep coming back to watch my videos i appreciate you so much god bless you god bless you real good okay i love you but god loves you more okay for my first time viewers you're seeing this face for the very first time wow i am mandy mandy obi or mandy uzoma mandy anyang wow so many names are you <laughs> so um you're welcome to this channel this is a great family we're building here and i want you to know that in this family you will not be left out you'll be carried along but if you view me for the very first time for you to be part of this great family you have to do just a simple something for us what do you do hit that subscribe button okay so welcome back to our channel okay so in today's video we'll be talking about what the full moon yes i was supposed to bring out a video today concerning the crowd puller for those of us who are waiting for the videos of um for the video of how to attract customers to your business yes it's supposed to be today but i have to change my content because um today is full moon and i wouldn't i wouldn't want us to miss out in this prayer and that is why i decided to shoot this video immediately today and release it today also so tonight is a night of power tonight is the night that you tap into grace into power is the night that you make use of is the night that you can't miss the opportunity okay what is full moon full moon simply means the period or the time which in which the moon is fully illuminated the disk of the room, uh, moon is fully what illuminated okay that is what full moon is all about now when you go outside your home i'm using a layman's language so that we all can understand it when you go outside your home in the night you find out that the moon is in a kind of faded form it is not fully illuminated the light is not that bright it is somehow faded when you look at it it looks like you will see a shadow around it you will see it faded it's not bright okay but when it is full moon for tonight go outside your home and observe it you will see the light will be fully illuminated that is because there is a positioning between the moon and the sun okay in which the air to be in the middle all right it is a let's say a clash there is a clash between the moon the earth and the sun okay when this occurs there will be a what a full moon when there is a clash i will use that language clash okay when there is a clash between the earth the moon and the sun in which the earth is in the middle of the moon and the sun there will be what an illumination there will be an illumination a light up in the moon and you will see the moon very very bright well lit okay that is what you're going to experience tonight okay so this full moon is a period for you to do what to table your matter to god now we are not worshiping the moon but we are using the moon as a point of contact to do what to reach out to heavens to reach out to the universe to talk to god because he made those things and he said there is power in them okay now this full moon is a period that even the uh, evil ones use this as an opportunity because they understand the mysteries in full moon they use it as an opp opportunity to cause harm and evil to people but for we as children of god we have to do what use it as an opportunity to return back what they have done to us to table that matter that is hurting you you know what is bothering you you know that a pain that you have endured for years you don't even know how to handle it anymore it is time for you to take it to the universe by doing what capitalizing on this opportunity you're going to get tonight okay today is that full moon okay so all you have to do i'll be telling you just a few things you'll be needing to prepare yourself for tonight okay i don't want this video to be too long all right so what are you going to need what you'll be needing in this preparation to pray this prayer tonight you need a rain water now if you cannot get a rain water in your area or maybe rain has stopped falling in your area all you have to do is to get what a well water if you cannot get a well water also make use of your normal water all right but for me i prefer to use either a rain water or well water because i see it or i use it and i find as i get a fast answer each time i do prayer with those kind of water i receive a speedy answers to my request okay so that is it but if you can't get it even your normal water can give you the answers it depends on how you carry out the prayer it depends on your faith it depends on your belief okay 
now when you get this rain water you're going to add your sea salt remember i said what sea salt do not use your table salt add two spoons of sea salt into that pocket of water then you're going to drop it outside in your home do you know where you'll be dropping it you will drop it in a place where the moon can reflect directly on that water because that water will be charged by the moon throughout the night what did i say again you are going to drop it in a place where you see that the moon is reflecting directly on the water because that water will be charged by the moon okay this is a period also you can charge all your spiritual items if you have spiritual perfume sea salt cinnamon anything you have that you use for your uh, that is for your spiritual uses you can bring it out in the night and charge it okay you can bring it out and do what and charge it i'll be right back so you charge all your spiritual materials and items okay during this period also okay so after keeping your water outside what you're going to do is to do what you're going to look straight towards the sun towards the moon sorry you're going to look straight towards the moon and you're going to declare oh lord you know what is your problem you're going to table it before god okay you know what is troubling your heart if it is a, if it is you know someone that is troubling you you know that person it is time for you to summon that person yes you can summon the person through the moon okay tell god this so so person has been a trouble in my life it is time for you oh god to intervene in this matter all right you table that person if you are somebody that is experiencing promise and faith anywhere you ask god that lord as you pray tonight oh god every spirit of promise and faith whatever that has been projected into your life to be causing promise and faith let it be removed if you are somebody that is experiencing disappointment bitterness rejection anywhere you go you are not even doing anything to people but they will hate you for no reason they reject you for no purpose it is time for you to channel that energy to in your prayer okay speak oh god stand in that um open place speak to the moon say god have mercy intervene in my case whatever that is causing me rise and fall limitations in life let god intervene okay you are going to stand on your bare foot you're not going to wear your slippers in doing this prayer by that time you have already kept your water your water is already charging okay and you have added your sea salt into it your two spoons of sea salt then you stand and you say lord where are you as you're praying that prayer don't forget do not wear your slippers you're going to stand on the earth like that okay you're standing like that on the earth okay so after doing that after praying and you know you have poured out your heart to god then you go inside your home the next thing you need to do is to get a plain paper sorry i'm using a paper that is used this is my kids paper they have used it for their exams so you can see right up on it so you can you get a plain paper just a plain a plain a4 paper like the one i'm holding all right so you are going to place your seven candles on it but before you place your seven candles let's assume that this these things in this paper is what is a, your intention you are going to write in one part of the paper what you don't want to see in your life anymore and you write in one part what you want to see in your life so that is how you're going to write it then after writing it you drop it on the floor please keep it in a place that um that is not close to your rug or your carpet that can uh, cons uh, attract fire okay so you're going to keep it in a plain place okay keep it in a place that cannot inflame anything all right so when you drop it on the floor then you're going to place your seven candles round about it okay then when you place it you're going to carry your cinnamon your cinnamon powder sprinkle on it all right when you sprinkle it on it then you get your original honey remember anything you're doing if i say read you use original use original there is a reason why okay when you use adulterated honey you will not it will not work so use original things so that you get the desired result that you want now all this thing depends on how you put your energy or your channel your energy into prayer okay now when you sprinkle that cinnamon you carry your honey put it in your palm rub it on top of that paper yes mix it rub it make sure as you're rubbing it you are speaking you're telling god i don't want to see this in my life i want to see this this is what i want to see i want to experience breakthrough i want to be loved i want success wherever i go all right so you just drop it there now you're going to read psalm 81 full moon is written in the bible for those of you who will say yes moon is this is this is not fetish okay you can communicate if you understand mini mysteries 
you can communicate to the moon you can communicate to the sun even the rain yes there are powers in these things just like you communicate with the earth through the sand through the soil okay there are powers in this thing so what you need to do is you drop it and light the candles okay make sure that the candles are littered on top of your intention paper okay so you just drop it there then after reading the scripture you are going to read numbers 14 verse 28 why do i use this scripture because he say as surely as he lives whatever he hears you say that is what he will do for you now when you finish reading that scripture you're going to pray that thing that god wants to hear from you you know what is your problem you know your own pray, uh, problem so i can't tell you what your problem is you know what your own problem what your challenge is you know what you want god to do for you then you table it pray it as the candle is burning channel your energy and be praying pray seriously let me tell you when there is a man to pray there is a god to answer when you pray there, is, there must surely be answer unless you are not doing the right thing if your hands are not clean please make sure you ask for mercy before you carry out any prayer because sin is an obstacle to answers sin can hinder your prayers from being answered so whenever you want to carry out any prayer ask for mercy let mercy be the first thing you will ask for and tell god that as i ask for mercy lord intervene in my case father intervene in my situation and you will see that situation change okay believe me and do this and you will see what God will do for you. Now, after um, as you're praying, if you have incense, this is my cinnamon incense. Yes, this is it. You can see how it looks. So let me show you how it looks. If you have your incense, you can just burn it. This is how my cinnamon incense looks. Okay. So you can just light it into four places as just round about your intention paper. All right. Light it in four places. Then. As he's burning, you are doing your, you're carrying out your prayer, and believe you me, after doing this, you will see heaven intervene in your case. But more especially, when it comes to that period you're going to face, it, so make sure you cry out your mind, cry out your tears. If I lift your body out to the heavens, okay, and you will see results. Okay, that is just it. Very simple and very very effective so in the morning that water you have kept you're charging it overnight okay so you're in the morning as early as 5 a.m you have already wake up don't speak to anyone carry that water cleanse your body you will just be declaring the glory of god upon your life a new me is coming a turn around is coming my bitterness is changing to laughter there is a testimony in my past i receive breakthrough on every side okay so you keep declaring those words as you cleanse your body after cleansing your body if your candle and your intention paper has finished burning if your candle has finished burning all you have to do is to fold the wax and intentional intention paper fold it like this and then go to your waistband and discard it okay it's so simple heaven has heard your cry and heaven will grant your heart desires it is very very effective please do not miss tonight come back and share your testimony with me see you in my next video